So I'm holding a new book that I've just published by John Fisher called Heroes of Magic. John Fisher is a television producer from England who may be responsible for putting more magicians on TV than anyone in recorded history. It's a 450 page lavishly illustrated book, but it's a lot more than photos. It's really stories, inside information, and biographies of 25 of the greatest magicians of the last 100 years. People like Jay Marshall, Ricky Jay, Chan Canasta, Arturo Bracchetti, Siegfried and Roy, Channing Pollock, Robert Harbin, Cardini, Slidini, and it really provides perspective and information and stories that you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> Spoon Jaw Jaw Spoon! <laughs> Tommy Cooper is one of the true icons of British comedy, but his whole act, as we're seeing here, is him pretending to be or trying to be a magician and not really getting his way through it. You make those motions, you wear a red fez, anybody in the UK walking down the street will know who Tommy Cooper is to this day. It's Billy McComb, Ireland's largest leprechaun, who trained to be a surgeon to appease his parents, and then once he got through medical school, decided, all right, I did what they want, now I want to do what I want to do. You learn a little bit about what drove him to create these things, and really the breadth of experience that he had. So look, Ricky Jay and John Fisher made a great partnership. You learn how willing he was and how far he was willing to go in service of the performance, in service of the magic, in service of the idea, and how dedicated he was to who he was and to his craft. Now risking this streak of good fortune, I'll continue. So this is Fred Capps performing the homing card on The Ed Sullivan Show the same night that the Beatles made their American television debut on Ed Sullivan. The Beatles are a tough act to share the bill with, but Fred Capps held his own admirably. He's considered by many to be the greatest all-around magician who ever lived, and uh, well, this video proves it. You learn about him as a man and as a performer. This bird will disappear right from the tips of my fingers, and you'll not see where it goes. I hope. There's that great line about Harry Blackstone Jr. where he confesses, he says, look, if I could make more money selling shoes, that's what I'd be doing. And you go, this is the man who I saw as a kid, and then you meet him afterward, and he treated you like you'd known him for 50 years, and you re literally remember it to the longest day you live. And he goes, if I could have made more money selling shoes, I would have done it. And you're, it's kind of heartbreaking and revealing, but I mean, the whole book is like that. Why are these people in a book called Heroes of Magic? They're in a book called Heroes of Magic because they were able to do something that most of their contemporaries were not. Anybody can find your card. You know, how many people can make you care about it?